The Vault of Claustrophobia, built by Variable Cave, along with Charlie Draws. This prison is one of the older ones, dating all the way back to December of 2022, but got updated along the way. The Vault of Claustrophobia is fairly giant and has tons of bedrock around the interior of the prison, with well-made redstone for the outer area bands and the suicide. This prison, like the mini warp, is made with bedrock, and the reason for this is because, at the time, there was a glitch used to obtain it, which is patched now. But I'm still going to escape it like this because the bedrock doesn't make such a big difference. The outside of this prison really captures the creepy vibe for me with the distorted like walls. The outside of this prison is fairly impressive, but that doesn't matter to me. The only thing that matters is what's inside, because you know what they say, never judge a book by its cover. The prisoner is going to go through the main portal. When they're the nether, the guard opens this little gap and manually lights the portal for the prisoner. Then, the prisoner goes back through into the overworld. Apparently, in the handbook, there's a portal ban, but I can't actually find it anywhere and I can't find a switch for it, so I'll just assume it's not there. Although this doesn't really matter because my escape isn't going to be relying on this. The guard then opens the bed for the prisoner, and when the prisoner sleeps in the bed, the guard blocks the bed again, the prisoner dies in the lava and respawns in the cell. The cell is just a 2x2x2 two by two by two cell surrounded by bedrock, except for this one ancient debris for the visiting process. There is also a redstone timer that will send bread into the cell every so often to keep the prisoner fed. If you somehow obstruct the bed, you're going to spawn above the cell in another cell, which is highly observed and will trigger the suicide if anything is broken or placed. The entry process is similar to many other prisons, but there are actually many flaws that I've noticed in this prison. First of all, there isn't even any money fatigue. Apparently Variable Cave stated in his Discord server that he wanted to do something different in his prison, so he just didn't add any Outer Guardians? This is oddly strange because I did not expect him to just like, abandon all mining fatigue completely. Also there isn't any x-ray. The guards have zero ways of looking at the prisoner whatsoever, so I don't even know what they would be doing in their time online in the prison. This also completely gets rid of the use for the suicide switch, because the guards don't even know when to use it as they have no idea what the prisoner is doing. Now the visiting process. The visitor goes through the main portal, but this time, the guard will be at the visitor portal instead of the prisoner portal. The guard will manually light the portal, and when the visitor goes through, the guard opens the respawn bed, the visitor sleeps in it, dies in the lava, and respawns in the hallway above. The visitor then swims through the one block tall hallway until they get here, where they open the ancient debris and go into the cell. When it's time for the visitor to leave, the guard will go through here, Pearl glitched into the cell and manually killed the visitor. I think I covered all the important parts. Of course, there's some stuff in the guard room I didn't talk about, but we don't need to worry about that, since it's going to make this video even more boring. It seems I have been stalling for quite a while. Well, enough of that. Now, let's go inside this place, so I can escape it. Because this is where the fun begins. This time, for this escape, I'm not going to be breaking a prisoner out of the prison, but I'm going to get someone else to help me break out of the prison. But they won't be doing the entire thing for me. But we don't need to worry about that yet, because this phase of the escape is going to be the easiest part. All I need to do is to go through the security check calmly and cooperatively, to lower any suspicions the guard may have against me. I need to make sure the guards think they have the upper hand, make them think that I'm going to be locked safely and securely when the escape is still yet to come. When I get locked up in my cell, I'll just stay there for a bit. And when I feel like it's time to strike, I will begin phase two.
This is where the action begins. I'm going to get someone from the outside to come and visit me. Let's call that person from the outside Curry. What Curry is going to do is he'll actually smuggle an item through the visitor process. You might be wondering, how could he smuggle an item through? The visitor hallway is 15 blocks above the visitor bed. So how does he get an item from down here all the way to up there? Well, I have a special strategy for that, but it might take some time. So Curry will need to stall for a bit. What he's going to do is break the visitor bed. He'll pretend it was an accident, like they accidentally held on his screen or something, and he will tell the guards to replace it. Now the guards will have to go all the way around this hallway to replace it. That just brought us a lot of time. While the guards are going around, Curry is going to pearl up into the ceiling and drop a stroker box at the perfect time before they fall back down. Because of this pearl glitch, Curry will only be inside the ceiling for half a second, which he'll use to drop the box. The stroker box will then float up to 15 blocks into the visitor hallway because for some reason, in the visitor desk check, there isn't any gap in between the bed and the hallway like there is in a prisoner desk check. I think Variable K forgot to add this, and this little mistake just led to a crucial flaw. And when Curry smuggles the stroker box, the guard won't even see anything because they're busy going around the hallway to replace the bed. In fact, Curry might not even need to break the bed in the first place because the guards don't have an x-ray system, therefore they won't be able to see Curry pearl up if he just crouches. But wait a second, won't the guards hear them and their pearl into the ceiling? Well, maybe, but that won't really matter because the guards will see that Curry is still inside the visitor portal, not somewhere else trying to get into the cell. If the guards ask, he'll just say he was holding the pearl and accidentally pearled, or he could just say he was, he was bored, so he just pearled around the little area. Besides, we all know the guards would be too scared to flip the suicide switch on something this small because they'll see that I'm still behaving normally and just believe what I say because they can't really prove otherwise. When the bed is replaced, Curry dies in the lava, respawns in the visitor hallway, takes the shocker box, and swims into the cell. Then they simply drop the shocker box to me and we pretend to be having fun or something until the guard comes into the cell and kills us. There, I got the shocker box, without the guards suspecting a thing. Now I'll just wait for the guards to go offline, to conduct the final part of my escape. I forgot to mention this, but the shulker box contains a stack of vendor pearls, enchanted apples, harming potions, water, blocks, and a pickaxe. When the guards go offline, I place the shulker and collect all my items. Then I pro glitch in this corner of the cell. This is because over here there's a honey block redstone line, which is supposed to be used to trigger the suicide in the cell above this one. But ironically, I'll be using it to escape. I dig to the bottom of the honey block line and I place water to fill myself into this little gap, then block the water behind me. After that, I take my pearls and pearl glitch this way until I reach the scaffolding for the prisoner guards. I break the scaffolding down to the guard room and open this gap, then I pearl through it and break the ancient debris blocking the prisoner bed. I can't break the bed right now because that's going to trigger the suicide as there's an observer watching it, but I'll simply break the observer and then break the bed. There, I've destroyed my prisoner bed. Now, all I need to do is splash myself with hammering potions. And when I respawn, I'll find myself at the world's spawn point. 
great. Another prison down. That was quite the challenge, Variable Cave. Too bad it didn't work quite as you had planned. Now, who's next?